Hi guys, welcome back and happy new year. Um, I'm starting off the year with just a really quick tutorial for you. So I've created this kind of image grid you can see and when we move our mouse the uh, the image grid kind of follows it really. Okay, so it's kind of like a just a mouse move effect. Um, yeah, it uses vanilla JavaScript. I've just sourced a bunch of random images from Unsplash you can see here. And yeah, let's get going guys. Thanks. Okay guys, so once again, got the usual three files here, index.html, style.css, app.js. Also got this images folder. Again, I've sourced these images from unsplash.com. Loads of free images on there. I've just got just random images really. Obviously, um, you'll use images which are applicable to your website. Okay, so if we come into the um, HTML file first, um, just get the boilerplate up and running again. I'm just gonna call this uh, image gallery for now okay and then what we want to do here is in our index.html the first thing we're going to do is a class a div of a class of container and then within this div this is going to house our actual canvas or image uh, gallery grid so we'll just say um dot canvas for this div of a class of canvas and then in this canvas i'm going to have four columns okay so div of a class of column and then I'm just gonna copy that down three more times, like so. And then I'm just gonna add the usual uh, classes to these. So one, two, three, and four, like so. And then I'm just gonna to link to the um, app.js file. So use a script tag with a source attribute, app.js. And then in the header, I'm just gonna to link to the style.css like so. Okay, so now if I open this in live server, we won't see anything at the moment. It will just be um, a blank screen. Okay, so I just bring this over like so. It's made smaller for now. And then what we're going to do, we just close that down and then we're gonna come into our style.css next. And then what we're going to do here, so we just do the um, default style in first, we just do the star, as always margin, zero, padding, zero, box size and a folder box. And then underneath this, we're just going to select our body in HTML. So body, HTML, and then here we'll just say uh, overflow hidden for now. And then we'll also say background color, just gonna make this pure black like so. And then we'll say a width, of 100% and a height of 100 viewport heights like so, okay? And then kind of underneath this, next thing we're going to do is just get our container element. So we'll say dot container. And here I'm going to position this absolute. And then I'm gonna say left, we're gonna center this to the screen. So we'll say left 50% and then top 50% and then transform that and translate minus 50%, minus 50%. And then underneath this, we're going, we're going to say, uh, again, overflow hidden here as well. And then we also want to say, give this a width of 1,200 pixels, and we'll give it a height of 800 pixels, okay? And then underneath that, we'll just say, I think that's it actually, we'll just give this a border for now, just so we can see it, so border, one pixel solid white. We'll take this off after. Okay, so there's our container where which is going to house our um, images. Okay, so now if we come underneath this, next thing we're going to select is the canvas. Okay, so do dot canvas like so, and then I'm going again position this absolute, and then we'll say. Again, background color. Actually, no, I don't need to do background. We don't need to do the background color for this. Then we can say um, left. We we'll just start off at zero. We we'll do top zero, and then what I also want to do here first is I'm going to transform, and we're going to translate this. And I'm just going to say for now minus six hundred pixels, and we'll do minus six hundred pixels on the uh, y-axis as well. Okay, and the reason we're doing that is because we want our image grid to start off in the center, okay? So we want to bring it off slightly to the left. So that's why we're transforming it like that. And then we're going to do, um, 
it would give us a width of 200%, okay? So that would be double the size of this uh, parent container. So that would be 2,400 pixels if we uh, have 200%. And then we're going to say a height. I'm just gonna make the height all tight for now, okay? Just to, uh, and the way I did that was just adjust the height based on the um, contents of the, uh, of the div, okay? The canvas div. And then underneath that, we're gonna say padding just say 200 pixels and then I'm going to do a transition here this is going to be for the animation when we scroll up when we move our mouse it will um, move the uh, move the div and this is the uh, animation time or how long it will take to do that do that movement so say 1.5 seconds ease in or oh, no I do ease out like so and then underneath that I'm just going to do display and we're going to display this with flexbox okay and then the next one I do here is select the column. And what we do here, we're just going to say position. And we're going to make this relative. And then I'm just going to say flex. And here we're going to say 25%. Now you remember we had four columns, okay? So these four columns here, and that's why we're doing 25%, just so they fill out um, the container width. Uh, the columns fill out the container width 25%, obviously. That's a quarter, so that's why we're using that. And then kind of underneath this, we're just going to say uh, image next, select our image elements. Oh. And then with this, I'm just going to say width 100%. And then height 100% as well. No, we won't do that. Leave that out for now, guys. And then we'll just say filter grayscale. Okay, and I just want to grade these out, so we just say 100% as well for that filter. And then I'll just give these all a padding of one rem as well. Okay, so that's pretty much it for our CSS. Now let's go to our JavaScript, because obviously we can't see any images yet. So if I open my app.js file. Now, the first thing I want to do here is just get our selectors going, okay? So the first thing we want to select is our container. So I'll say uh, let container equal document dot query selector and then we'll just say dot container like so and then I'm going to say let's canvas equal document dot query selector and I'm going to say dot canvas like so okay and then underneath that I'm just going to select our columns next I'll say let column one uh, equal document dot query selector and then here we just say remember we gave them all individual classes of one two three four so i just do that for each of the columns change that to two like so and then three and then we'll say just finally four here Okay, right now, what I want to do here is we, I want to get my list of um, images and you'll see, I basically, you see the naming convention I've used for these images, okay? We've used one just number sequenced, okay? And the reason we're doing that is because we're going to use code to add these to the body, uh, add these to our grid, okay? So just show you what I mean there. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a for loop. So I'm going to say for let i equal zero and I'm going to say why i is less than or equal to 16 because we have 16 we're going to have 16 images in our in our container I'm going to say i++ plus plus. and then here we're just going to say for each um, iteration we're going to create an actual image div so I'll say image div like so equal document dot create element oh. is it create element now I just say div and then underneath this, we're going to say let div image equal document dot create element. And here we're just going to say img to create an image. And then we're going to say underneath that div image and we're going to set the source. Okay, so we're going to set the attribute. Oh, that should be a dot dot set attribute. And then we're going to set the source attribute, okay? And then we're going to set that to um, 
we do back ticks here. I'm going to say dot forward slash images and then forward slash and then I'm going to do a template literal here and I'm just going to add um, I. Okay, and also I want to make this I one as well. I'll change the I to one, okay? Because remember our naming convention doesn't start with zero, we start with one. Okay, so and then I think that's pretty much it. Oh, we just need to add dot JPEG as well after that. Okay, and then underneath this, I'm just going to say we're going to append this image we created to our image div we created. So I'm going to say image div dot append child, and then we're going to just to say um, div image in there like so. And then we're going to now append these divs, these image divs to our container. So here we'll just say. Um, I'm going to do a couple of if statements because I want to apply four for, to each of our columns, okay? So each column will have a house four images. So we'll say if uh, i is less than five, we'll just say column one dot append child. And we'll just say image div like so. Now you can see we get our images appear there. And then also let's do the second one now. So we'll say the second column, we'll say else if, and then we'll say I is less than, um, we'll do nine here. We'll say uh, column two dot append child. And again, we'll just say image div like so. And now you can see we get our second column there. And then let's do the third column. So we'll say else if again. And we'll say i is less than 13. Then obviously column three. Dot append child. And we'll just say image div again, like so. And then finally, else. Let's put an else statement there. We'll just say column four. Dot append child. And then we'll just say image div, like so. Okay, so we've appended all our images now. Um, what I also want to do is just get rid of that uh, white border because it looks horrible. Let's just move that from our container element. Okay, so now what we want to do here in our app.js is now we want to add the um, mouse move uh, animation to our um, container. I've seen that there's no movement at the moment when we move our mouse. Okay, so it comes underneath this for, for loop here, which is going to say container dot add event listener. We'll listen up for a mouse move, okay? And then this is going to use an arrow function and then pass in the event there as well because we want to read the uh, con uh, e dot client x and client y. So first thing we're going to do here is just set our x axis or x position. So say let x equal, we're going to say e dot client x. Okay, and then um, I'm also just going to subtract the container at the left position of our of our container. Okay, so here, and you'll see why I'm doing that shortly. So we just say get bounding client rect, and I want to just get the left part of that. Okay, so if we console.log x, if we open up our dev tools here, you can see now. We're getting the um, x coordinate of our mouse, okay? And you'll see here that when I go to the edge of the container, um, it, it goes, goes to zero. And usually, if for example, if I take out, just to show you what I mean, if I take this part out, usually it would go to the edge of the page if we take that out, okay? So actually, why is that not doing it? Ah. Okay, yeah, so what's happening here is because we've got the mouse move over the, um, let's just add it over the window for now. Okay, so we've had it to the window, you can see when we are at the very left of our viewport, it's at zero pixels, or it should go to zero, like so. And that's what the e.clientx does. And what we need to do when we're making this animation is we want to subtract this bit of white space here to make the animation work. So that's why I'm subtracting this. What this um, container dot get bounding client rect dot left does is it gets this position. So this left position of the um, of our container. Okay, so that's around. You can see here, uh, it's about yeah 100 pixels. Okay, 
So let's do that now. Let's add that back in. Okay, and then underneath this, we also want to get the wire axis. So we'll just say let wire equal uh, e.client wire. Uh, and then again, we're going to subtract, do the same thing, but instead of the left, we're just going to get the top of the container. Okay, so we'll just say container dot top like so. Okay, so now what we want to do here is we're going to say uh, canvas dot style dot transform okay so oh, might as always do that style dot transform and here we're going to do some back ticks again we're just going to say translate and then we're going to do minus and then a template literal and here we're just going to put the x pixels and then we're going to do a comma and then we're going to do minus another template literal and then wire um, pixels again okay so px so now you'll see when we come to our container and we move down you can see we get this uh, scrolling effect when we move our mouse okay um, yeah so one thing as well it doesn't I've noticed on the y-axis it doesn't always go down to the full the full bottom of the uh, in an in a image grid okay so in order to fix that what you can do is just times this by two in here okay so that would just um yeah, it makes it quicker and you can see now it can go all the way down to the bottom of our image grid okay so i think that's quite a nice effect guys um make it a bit bigger yeah there you go that's just kind of a nice um yeah image gallery which script which scrolls with the mouse move okay so um yeah i hope you've enjoyed that guys and i will see you in the next tutorial thanks for watching cheers